the story of our universe. Hi children, you know there are many stories about how the universe came into being. Today I'm going to tell you a great story and it is called the Big Bang story. Many scientists believe that this is the story of how the universe came into being. Now what is the universe? It's not just our world, it's the outer space, the galaxies, the planets, the stars, the sun, the moon, asteroids and everything else that's out there in space. Now look around you. What do you see? Look outside the window. You may see the sun, the sky, plants, trees animals, buildings, cars, and maybe even all your toys. But long time ago, there was nothing. No trees, no plants, no flowers, no sky, no moon, no animals, and no people. There was nothing. Suddenly, one day, Almost 14 billion years ago, there was a big explosion. It was a stronger and more forceful explosion than anything you could ever imagine. We call this explosion the Big Bang. At the same time, there was a big cloud of dust and very, very hot, bright light. And out of this Big Bang came our universe. For millions of years, it was very hot. From just a single point, it got bigger and bigger, and slowly it started to cool. The tiny particles of light and energy grouped together, and some of these became stars and galaxies. Some of the groups were so incredibly big, big and they had so much energy that they started off a big fire and these fire were the first stars. But the stars did not last forever. Some of them fizzled out but others died with a huge <laughs> The biggest star was the sun, our sun. At the same time that the sun was forming, other rocks and gases were colliding and banging together to form planets. Look at the planets. Do you remember their names? Let's try and name them together. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. But now Pluto is not called a planet anymore. It is small and far away and scientists call it a dwarf planet. And look at planet Earth. It was a hot ball of lava. So hot for billions of years that nobody could live in it. There were poisonous gases and lots of eruptions. Then it started to rain for many years, millions of years and the earth slowly started to cool down. When the earth cooled down, it became ready for life on earth. The earth had land and water for living beings and also air for all the living things to breathe. So remember, what is it that makes the earth suitable for us to live in? Land, air and Water, that's right. This is our beautiful earth today with land, air and water. We can see beautiful flowers, we can see the sun, the sky and it looks so beautiful. Let's all work together and take care of our beautiful planet Earth. <laughs> Hi children, are you ready for a quiz time now? Okay, get a pencil ready and a paper and let's see how much you can remember. You can write your answers or you can even draw them. 
Okay, let's get ready. Right, the first question. What is the name of the story? Next, what came out of the explosion? Correct. What is planet Earth made up of? Remember, I mentioned three things. What is planet Earth made up of? Now, what is the name of the biggest star? And the last question is, if planet Earth did not cool down, what would happen? You can ask someone to help you read these questions again to you so that you can write them down or draw them. And if you enjoy doing that, you can send us a photo of your work. Bye. Thank you.